Rocky Mountain College's Madeline Gilder, 21, spikes the ball during the Rocky Mountain College Battle and Bears game against the Carroll College Fighting Saints at Rocky Mountain College in Billings on Friday, October 28, 2022. Gavin Durkoch 406 EmptySports.com slash Montana Standard Butte. It was another weekend of non-conference matchups for teams in the Frontier Conference. Both Rocky Mountain College, 8-4, and Providence, 7-4, were off, but the other four Frontier programs were in action and working out the kinks as league play quickly approaches. Montana Western, 10-0, the Bulldogs' perfect season rolls along as they extended their best start in program history with four more wins at the Valley City State Tournament. Through three non-conference tournaments, Western has nearly matched its win total from 2022, 12. The Bulldogs rank 21st in the nation in both hitting percentage, 0.240, and blocks per set, 2.30. Junior outside hitter Jazzy Smith has been an all-around player, leading the team with 2.92 kills per set, while also averaging 2.46 digs per set. People are also reading, the Montana scheme, how the wealthy avoid taxes on luxury vehicles, RVs short Missoula police. Chase ends on I-90 Business Buzz. Restaurants reopen. Downtown Business News Montana Public Construction Candidate has mysterious, controversial work history longtime downtown Missoula Cafe to close mayor candidates weigh in on issues ahead of September 12th primary Burns Street Bistro to close permanently special counsel files professional misconduct complaint against Montana Attorney General FWP seeks. Elk poacher near Lolo Late TD overturned in No. 3 Montana State Bobcats loss at No. 1 South Dakota State Highline Festival held in Remote Canyon near Lolo Missoula Police trying to ID suspects in California Street Bridge attacks two railroad crossings in Missoula to be removed. Paved new details emerge in Orange Street fatal. No impairment suspected Orange Street motorcycle crash victim. Identified Western's hot start will most likely be rewarded with a spot in the NAIA rankings, which release on Wednesday. Number 10 Montana Tech, 7-2, the Ortigers entered the weekend with a perfect record, but faced stiff competition at the Viterbo University Tournament. After opening with a sweep against William Penn, Tech lost back-to-back -back matches. Against number 4 Viterbo, the Diggers won. The first two sets before dropping three straight in a thrilling top-10 matchup. Following the disappointing loss, Tech was swept by Dakota State. With conference matchups looming, the defending Frontier regular season champion will look to learn from its first two losses of the year. MSU Northern, 6-5, along with Western, the Skylights had a successful trip to the Valley City State Tournament. Northern was 3-1 on the weekend, with all three victories via a sweep. Despite a loss to the tournament host, the Lights earned decisive victories over Mayville State, Dickinson State and the University of Winnipeg. The team is now back over .500 ahead of conference play. Carroll College, 5-7, the Fighting Saints played just one match this past weekend, a 3-0 loss, 25-15, 25-18, and 25-17, against St. Thomas, Florida. Elizabeth Huger led the team in kills, 7, while Maddie Wilkes and Nora Allen each posted 9 assists. Frontier Conference Athletes of the Week Northern's successful weekend was rewarded with a sweep of the Athletes of the Week. Attacker of the Week. Junior middle blocker Alana Graves, MSU Northern the Ballantine native averaged 4 kills per set in. The Lights four matches, including a 16-kill performance against Dickinson State. Defender of the Week. Sophomore Libero Bailey Egan, MSU Northern the Colstrip native reached double figures in digs in all four matches and averaged 4.25 digs per set. Setter of the Week. Junior setter Emily Feller, MSU Northern the Helena native averaged nine assists per set and posted 30-plus assists in two of the four matches. What's next? All six Frontier programs will be in action this weekend, all under the same roof. Western is hosting the Frontier Conference preseason tournament in Dillon, with matches beginning on Thursday. Each team will get a glimpse of what the 2023 season will look like in the Frontier ahead of the official start of league play on September 22. Gavin Durkoch is a sports reporter for the Montana Standard. Follow him on Twitter at gderkoch or email him gavin.durkoch at 406emptysports.com Zero comments you must be logged in to react. Click any reaction to log in. Love Zero Funny Zero Wow Zero Sad Zero Angry Zero Tag Sports Games and Toys Politics Construction Industry Be the first to know get local news delivered to your inbox. Sign up. Asterisk I understand and agree that registration on or use of this site constitutes agreement to its user agreement and privacy policy.